Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That, and today I'm going to be talking about the Cobra Polar Assault Troops, better known as Snow Serpents. These guys were part of the G.I. Joe action figure line. They came out in Wave 4 in 1985, and at that time, the Snow Serpents were some of the most formidable enemies of G.I. Joe. They were the elite of the elite, and I was always a sucker for the Snow Guys. Growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, we didn't get much snow, but that's all right. I still enjoyed playing with the snow troops and pretending that my brown desert looking carpet was snow. Now, at the time Wave 4 came out, I was all in with G.I. Joe. That was the year that the Dreadnoughts first appeared, and I was super excited to have them as part of my G.I. Joe action figure collection. And I played with them all the time. Uh, the Snow Serpents were another group of figures that I really liked a lot. They had the same articulation for the most part as the figures that I had had before, but in 1985, they introduced a new feature, and that was not only do the heads move side to side, but now the heads also started moving up and down for a wider range of motion with uh, the figure's heads. Now, these guys, again, were really cool figures. They were supposed to be Cobra Eels, which were kind of the, the top of their Cobra Navy, but they had an additional six months of training under cold weather uh, situations. So these guys are even more elite than the Cobra Eels. And they come with, as you can see here, a parachute, uh, AK-47 assault rifle. This piece right here that attaches to the backpack is an anti-tank gun. And then I'm going to take the backpack off of here. And this separates from the backpack. So you can have these guys fire their mortar-like anti-tank gun. Uh, and it attaches right back to the little clip on the backpack here. In addition to that, they have a pair of snowshoes so that they can walk more easily through the snow. So I thought these guys were absolutely the coolest, and uh, they have so much gear. Um, you can kind of customize. One guy can have a backpack, one guy can have a parachute, so that you can have several of them, and they don't all look like the, the same character. Around that same time in 1985, I was playing with the figures like crazy. I was reading the comic books. The Dreadnoughts were all over the comics. I don't remember the Snow Serpents being in the comics very much or the cartoon, uh, but just as action figures, I thought they were great. The figures were available in 1985, and they were available again in 1986. Uh, they had a different card that they came attached to in 1986 than they did in 1985, uh, from 1985 and before, the file cards had sort of a manila background, like a manila file folder. From 1986 on, the file cards on the back of the cards were gray. They also changed the logo from just the generic G.I. Joe logo in 1985 to a new logo in 86 that looks more three-dimensional. So you can find these guys on two different card backs. They were available both of those years. I think they were available after that as some sort of promotional package. I'm not sure exactly what the deal with that was, but it seems like I've seen one of their file cards uh, that wasn't connected to uh, the type of card back that you'd see in a store. So these guys are great. The reason that they're on my mind today is we recently had snow here in Atlanta, and I thought, I got to take this opportunity to get these guys back suited up, geared up, outside, back in action. So for the first time in years, I got my snow serpents together. I had to replace the O-ring on one of them. It was so worn out. I got my snow serpents together, geared them up, took them outside, and took a whole bunch of pictures. After this video, be sure to stick around and check out the slideshow. There's going to be tons of photos of my snow serpents geared up and in action in the snow where they should be. So what do you think of the Cobra snow serpents? Did you have them as a kid? Are you collecting them now as an adult? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Also, please click like on my video, subscribe to my channel, share my video on social media so other people can check it out. And if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States, held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>